So we're about to hit this toll onto the George Washington, right, Cliff? Yeah. And and this is the this is the what price. What's this guy doing? I don't know, but this is the price you. Man, you're gonna go right in that rumble strip. Oh my! Oh my! What is even happening right now? Oh my God. Dude, we're not even, we're not in a lane. He's he's gonna let me over. I'll just run into the cones. I got full coverage on the rental car. Yeah. I'm mad at him. Yeah, back it off. <laughs> the George Washington Bridge. Uh, so Manhattan will be up to. God, we'll be off to our right. I want us to be off to our right. Make sure my thing's open. Oh yeah, you got it. You got it. You got easy, that easy pass. pass. Yeah. Well, they said no more uh, money. They're not doing any more money. Fifteen bucks to go across this bridge. How crazy is that? I pay for this bridge ten billion times over. <laughs> they finally got rid of all the toll roads in Georgia. Did there was they? Like three, there wasn't a ton, but there was like three or four of them. What was the got, deal? Why? Like why? What was? Because the... the deal was when the roads got paid for, they would turn them off. And oh. They kept them for like a couple years afterwards, and like. I guess some board politician got got on their case about it, so they got rid of them. Are we, uh, we're not making a stop in the city? Because I want to catch my flight, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, right now it says 440, um, just to the rental car place, and it's probably going to take us another 45 minutes to get to, to the airport from the rental car place. Sweet. Travel. So let's talk about the Uber. Let's talk about the Uber. You rented this car, put gas in it, and paid all the tolls for the price of my Uber, right? Well, I haven't got the list of the tolls yet. So the car was like 220 for two and a half days or whatever, and you paid a hundred and what sixty bucks for an Uber yeah. one way. Yep. So can't imagine my tolls being more than eighty bucks. So three hundred bucks versus. Yeah, it's about the same, I guess. Actually, the same. Yeah, and you don't have to. But worry. we had a car to drive around while we were here, not just one Uber, one direction. But yeah. Bergen know. Catholic. What do you think of the facility? Uh, believe it or not, like, and I, I don't mean to make this to sound bad. Like it was, it was Jersey. It's what I, what I expected out of a Jersey wrestling. Gritty and it tough. Wasn't like, it wasn't like super fancy. It's two mats and change got a got a solid little weight room and a standalone facility in the Saga Center like it's where they get it done at like it was no no frills but it wasn't like a crap hole at all yeah you know, it was a solid facility like what is this guy doing just, just hey I'm glad you but got the da full coverage yeah but Dave Bell you know Dave Bell was awesome that's the first time I got to really like be around him a good bit man and he's there's no re there's uh, no secret why miles. that program is Stay you know gotten to a very successful I level and stayed a successful level. That guy obsesses way. about Please. the details. He cares about the kids. He loves wrestling. You know, and he's just you know he's in a good spot of the world too. So you know, I mean, it's one of those things where you know it, it's good to align with a guy like that. He was he was an unbelievable host, and uh, I think it was a perfect facility. It was a little tight. You know, there wasn't like a special roped off area for the coaches and the parents. They were just sitting on the mats. It was like just wrestling. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't anything fancy. All right, favorite except, com except for the Panera bread and all the fancy food I got for the coaches. So, favorite combine location so far? Oh, stupid question. California. Yeah. I mean, just just going back and watching that coverage, just everything from the lighting to the clinicians to the wrestling talent to everything in in that, and just being around Jake and all that, just kind of a no-brainer. And and being in California, pretty dang cool. Yeah. All right, I gotta get a shot of them. GW. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my hand in this little nifty uh, thing that I never so use. You know. Manhattan, and uh, we're in the George Washington heading to LaGuardia. This guy's going back to Atlanta, I'm going back to OHIO. Got one more camp. And then I'm done. That? Where are you at next? Lake Catholic. Oh, are you when? Next weekend. Oh, okay. So that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Well, until somebody calls me and asks me to do a camp. So, but hopefully I'm home for a while. Nice.